Hi, this is solutions for the con term, con sections, short answers for the IP mat IM indoor examination. So looking at a few questions out here, this is part four of the series and looking at how to solve it. So Mr. and Mrs. Sharma and Auja, okay, and four others. That means there are eight people sitting around a circle, round table. Two people are sitting, I mean, uh, Mr. and Mrs. Sharma are seated next to each other. So two Sharma are sitting next to each other. So they can sit in two ways, either left, right, right, left. So two ways they can sit. Okay. The rest six have to be sat around the circle. You can say six around a straight line itself. One, two, three, four, five, and six. So in which case two people are not seated next to each other. Now when you have this sum not seated next to each other, how do you calculate? Total ways minus they seated next to each other. Okay, total ways minus they seated next to each other. The total ways is six factorial. Six people sitting in a line is six factorial. And if two people are seated together, we consider them as one. So then it becomes five factorial, and they can be arranged among themselves into two. Okay, if the two people seated together, then number of ways becomes five factorial because we consider them as one. But they can be seated among themselves in two ways. So which means you can solve this in sense. Okay, so 6 factorial which is 720, 5 factorial 120 into 2 to 40. Okay, if you solve this, subtract it, okay, you get a value in terms of how many ways. That means it will become 480. Okay, plus these two ways which are there. So 2 into 480 should give you 960 as the total number of ways. Okay, 2 into 480 will give you 960 as the total number of ways because we have to include these two also. So making the six people sit where Mr. and Mrs. Auja are not together is for 480 ways and then these two will give you 960. Arithmetic progression. In arithmetic progression difference between two consecutive terms are equal. Okay. There are two ways of solving this. One is you can substitute values of x and figure out where the difference will come same. Okay. You substitute x1 okay x2 x3 and then check out where difference of first and second number will be same as second and third number if you're good at calculation you can do it quickly else you'll have to solve it the solving is lengthier but anyway let's first solve it so if i subtract the first term minus the second term what do i get i get 2 raised to x plus 3 minus 2 raised to 2x minus 1 minus 16 minus of minus 16 okay so difference of first and second term which is equal to difference of second and third term which is 2 raised to 2x minus 1 plus 16 minus 2 raised to x plus 3 okay My, I'm taking minus so minus 2 raised to 2x minus 1 minus 16 the so difference have to be equal here minus 16 plus 16 gets cancelled you can bring all the terms as one place so 2 raised to x plus 3 minus 2 raised to 2x minus 1 okay is equal to here it becomes 2 raised to 2x minus 1 plus 2 raised to 2x minus 1 which is 2 into 2 raised to 2x minus 1 okay minus 2 raised to x plus 3 plus 32 okay bring everything on the left side so you can take out 2 raised to i mean you can turn take in terms of 2 raised to x and 2 raised to 1 2 raised to x plus 3 is nothing but 2 raised to x into 2 cube 2 raised to 2x minus 1 is nothing but 2 raised to 2x divided by 2 raised to 1. Okay. Same way out here is equal to 2 into 2 raised to 2x upon 2 raised to 1. I am converting into 2 raised to 2x and 2 raised to x minus 2 cube into 2 raised to x plus 32. Bring everything in one place. This becomes 8 2 raised to x minus 2 raised to 2x upon 2. Bring it aside minus 2 raised to 2x and uh, plus 8 into 2 raised to x minus 32 equal to 0. Okay. Now bring this 2 raised to 2x together, okay, which becomes 8 into 2 raised to x minus 3 into 2 raised to 2x upon 2 plus 8, 8 into 8 plus 8 you can take right at 16, 16 into 2 raised to x and then minus 32. Multiply by 2 throughout to remove this denominator. So if you multiply by 2 throughout, you will get 32 into 2 raised to x minus 3 into 2 raised to 2x minus 32 equal to 0. Okay. 
so basically i want or you can negate it 3 into 2 raised to 2x minus 32 into 2 raised to x this is 64 32 into 2 will be 64 plus 64 equal to 0 now convert to quadratic equation you can convert to 2 raised to 2x as y that's the reason we convert into 2 raised to 2x and 2 raised to x so that we can convert to quadratic equation so we can take 2 raised to 2x as y square and 2 raised to x as y because we can take 2 raised to x as y so automatically 2 raised to 2x becomes y square so it becomes 3 into y square minus 32 into y plus 64 equal to 0 64 3 is a 192. If you break up this, you can break it up as 8 and 24. 3y square minus 8y minus 24y plus 64 equal to 0. You will get the roots as 8 upon 3 comma 8. Now your 2 raised to x has to be 8 suppose. So x will become 3, you can get the answer as 3. If 2 raised to x is 8 which is 2 cube because remember y is 2 raised to x which is 8. So x becomes 3. So that's how you get the answer directly. So try to take up a number which satisfies, you automatically get the answer as 8 and that will be the answer. Okay. If you substitute 1, 2 and 3, you realize if you substitute 3, you will get the answer. Minus 16, if I put 3, 2 raised to, this becomes 64 minus, if I put 3, 6 minus 1, 5, 32 minus 16 will give you plus 16. Again. 3, 3 to 6 minus 1, this becomes 16 plus, uh, wait, uh, 3 to 6 minus 1, 5, 32 plus 16, 48. So, if you look at minus 16 plus 16 plus 48 are in arithmetic progression, satisfies. Okay, but it is a little trial and error. If you are comfortable in trial and error and good at calculations, you can do that. Else, you can solve the whole equation and get the answer. You will get x equal to 3. So, any new method, you need to get used to it. Only if you practice and you get used to it, will you be good at that. 50 distinct integer, highest is 100, average of last 25, you want maximum possible value. To for maximum possible value, remember the distinct in positive integers, the last 25 number should have highest average, which means the last 25 number should be 76 to 100, there are maximum 25 numbers possible, this is the max possible. Average will be first number plus last number divided by 2, in arithmetic progression like 76, 77, 78, 78 is an AP. Average is first number plus last number divided by 2 which is 88. These are the last 25 numbers. So first 25 numbers is 50 less because difference in average is 50. So 88 minus 50, 38. So first 25 numbers the average is 88. So total will be 25 into 88. Last 25 numbers the average is 38. So total will be 25 to 38. So total will be 25 into 88 plus 38. 126 into 25 to calculate becomes 3150 that's the answer since you want maximum take the maximum possible values of last 25 numbers which is 76 to 100 you want maximum possible numbers largest numbers 100 and they are all distinct positive integers so if i calculate largest 25 numbers is 76 to 100 and their average is 88 use the concept of arithmetic progression first plus last divided by 2 so the average of first 25 numbers will be 50 less because difference in the average is 50, 38. So total it off, you will get 3150. That's the answer. Thank you.